I just want to stop YouTubing. I want to I want to stop this whole social media thing. I just don't want to be known anymore. It's Tuesday the 3rd of April. Apparently today was the Ha'a Muslim Day. Alhamdulillah, I haven't heard anything negative, I mean, from my loved ones today. So I hope you're all doing well as well. I feel like all of this is just to create fear in our community. This is happening in the UK, by the way. We're actually seeing it happen. The other day, a girl was pushed on the train track while a train was coming onto the platform in London. And she's in a coma right now. And... I also saw some videos that my mum sent me of a woman being abused by this white man um, in a clinic or something, I'm not sure where it was, but it was in a public space and he just came and physically attacked her. Just like the intelligence services go out and find these Muslim, Muslim men who are planning terrorist events, why don't they go and find these people who are actually creating fear in our communities? Anyway, that's a little ramble before I start this video. So I'd do a little bit of a twist on this one. I've asked you guys to send me the questions on CuriousCat.com and if you're not aware of Curious Cat, it's basically like this website where you can make an account and people can send you questions anonymously. So, um, I received almost 2,000, 2,000 questions in the past few hours, which is a bit crazy. Why that I haven't been really posting a lot of like talkative videos lately because I've just been doing like the outfit stuff and the makeup stuff and I feel like a lot of you guys want to see me talk a little bit more. So I hope this will be helpful for you guys. Um, I'm just going to talk from my heart. I'm just going to be as honest as possible. Um, with these questions and I really really hope you learn something new. I never really planned for this to be my career at all. Um, it just kind of happened accidentally really. Like I was out of uni and then I started doing it as a hobby. A few years into it I just felt like I was making enough of a living not to have another job. So I just decided to stick to it and it's now my full-time job and I feel like times are changing now. I think it's amazing to see so many different people on the, in this industry, so many different people making it in this industry and I feel very proud of it. I've actually asked myself this question so many times and honestly it's really scary and crazy but I really don't know. Like, so, I love fragrance, I love perfumes and I feel like I can add something into the industry so I really would be in that industry if I was not doing what I'm doing right now. When I started with my YouTube and my blogging, I honestly started out of a hobby, something that I was passionate about that I wanted to tell the world about. So I don't really think I'm fully successful yet. Like I feel like I've reached somewhere that I'm, that I'm quite proud of, but I still, I still have goals that I really want to reach towards. But what really drives me to be a successful woman and to, to be independent in this success is honestly the fact and the reminder that you know as a woman you should not always rely on someone giving you what you want i always think that okay if i'm married now and then i get divorced and i don't have anything what am i going to do with myself i feel like if i have my own and i work on my own i'll always have my own independence it's like i don't always have to rely on someone or rely on a man or rely on family members i feel like generally transparency in any relationship is really really like really important it's like one of the main main things you need to have in a relationship and if you don't have that then things will go wrong so always be transparent in a, in a friendship and always be honest and always say it like it is ah uh, i don't really think about it too much but maybe like the maximum like 15 years older than me i'm 24 right now so i probably wouldn't go for someone who's almost 40 I'm not that picky with age to be honest and when it comes to minimum I don't know like I've been a lot more open-minded lately so I don't mind as long as you're not a teenager this question is so funny I've eaten pork before but I can't remember where I got it from but it was an egg roll and I ate I bit into it it was like a like a breakfast roll I bit into it and there was something that tasted really horrible inside and then I realized it was pork and I spy it out and I was like oh Whoops. Interesting question because first of all ethnicity wise I doubt I'll ever find someone who's half Lebanese half Brazilian So I don't think I'll ever marry someone who's from the same ethnic background when it comes to religion I don't think I can ever compromise first of all. It's not permissible in Islam second of all It just it won't make sense because I want my children to be Muslim and I don't want them to grow up in a household where they are confused about religion and I know there's a lot of families out there and I know people personally who have grown up with parents from different religions but I just don't think it would work for me at all just in the way that I want to raise my kids the way that I want my household to run absolutely I don't think I would ever compromise religion wise um, ethnicity wise I don't really care about ethnicity and background do you think of a man that is religious but asks a girl for things that are kind of private is your butt big are your boobs big are you a virgin 
<laughs> what did you say? A religious guy. Can you just delete his number, please? What is this kind of question? My sister got engaged before you. WTF? You are older than her, and I bet you're not. I bet you got a man, but you just show your bum all the time. You, you're fatty. Okay, that didn't make any sense. But anyway, yes, my sister got engaged before me. Um, yes, she's younger than me. And what? I bet you got a man. Okay. Some people on here, you got time. You just need to remember that you're more than your body. And at the same time, you need to learn to love your body the way it is. If you are so unhappy with it that you fully just don't feel comfortable or secure in any way, and you feel like you can never love the way your body is, then try and make changes with your body. Maybe try and work out, try and go to the gym and eat healthier. But honestly, I think the main root of the problem is self-love and self-love relates to a lot of things in your life and it can influence a lot of things that you go through so i really urge you to practice self-love i've done a whole video about self-love so i'll link it in the description box so you can check it out i definitely think it's important as a woman as a muslim woman to be independent and i think i, de I definitely don't think it's wrong for a girl to live on her own um if the need comes to it. I mean, I was considering moving to London recently, but I haven't simply because I just feel a lot more comfortable in my mom's house. Like, I feel like I don't have to do as much. I feel like if I live alone in London, I'm gonna be so busy, and on top of that, I'll have to have a lot of work to do at home, you know, like cooking for myself and all of that, and I just don't have the time for that. I don't have the energy. Your opinion on the hijab, showing the baby hairs slash fringe, I feel like everybody feels like they have a say about this whole, about how other people choose to dress and how other people choose to put their hijab. Everybody is on their own journey. You are judging someone on the way they wear their hijab, but they're probably stronger in faith than you are. So who are you to judge? Some people are more advanced in their journey than others. The tongue cuts deeper than what someone's wearing. You simply back chatting about someone who may not be dressed as modestly as you are will literally pull you way back behind where they, wherever they are. I'm not trying to look at anyone else's path because I've got my own path to worry about. It's not a question, but I wanted to say thank you for being you. Thank you for fighting against all the hate and negative people and still shining like the star you are. Keep on doing what you do best, spreading love, knowledge and positive vibes. Thank you to whoever wrote that. That's really sweet of you and it really means a lot. Thank you so much. Would you ever leave the fame and just quit everything? There's moments where it just gets way too much for me and I just feel like I just want to stop YouTubing. I want to I want to stop this whole social media thing. I just don't want to be known anymore. You just don't have privacy. Judgments left, right and center and there's so much negativity. A lot of people would never be able to hack being on a platform because it is it can be really emotionally draining. It can really numb you as well as a, as a human being. Like because you're trying to numb out like all of the negativity, you simply be, you sometimes feel just numb. Like you don't feel anything towards you don't feel anything towards what people say anymore, and it can be a bit difficult and trying. It gets to a point where it can be really exhausting, and I do feel like I do have to stop at some time, some point, you know, and just kind of focus on my business and not really be out there too much. And I feel like that's something I, I want to do when I get married. Um, I want to kind of chill out a little bit when it comes to this whole personal social media personality thing and I want to just focus on my business a lot more and really shift my focus on the business more than anything which is one of the reasons why I'm kind of enjoying my single life at the moment because I want to spend this time to do as much as I can because I know when I'm married I won't be able to do everything that I'm doing right now when I have children I'll never be able to do what I'm doing right now like and I'm not saying I want a man who's gonna stop me from doing what I'm doing because I am still gonna be on social media I'm not gonna stop but I just don't want to be as out there that as I am right now if that makes any sense I don't know like I just it could this could this could change you know, I might be even more out there when I get married I don't know things change and I might feel differently at the time final question and this is also about marriage you guys love this topic so much it's crazy so love marriage is when you fall in love with someone and then you marry them an arranged marriage is when you're introduced to someone whether it's your family friends um, <clears throat> And then you kind of get to know them and then you kind of get married and then the whole love kind of thing happens after you get married and it kind of gets deeper when you get married now when i was young i always assumed that i would be having a love marriage you know fall in love with someone see i don't know if, I, if it's because i'm getting older i don't know if it's because of the experiences i've been through but i honestly don't believe in that concept anymore for myself <clears throat> excuse me 
like I honestly I don't want to be in a relationship I don't want to go deep with someone before marriage like, I'm not trying to speak from a point of view where I'm judging anyone but I honestly just don't feel like it's Islamically correct or within boundaries that are respectful to be involved with someone emotionally and really deeply before marriage because I feel like there's too much temptation in this period in that period in the whole infatuation period and I feel like it's so much better to do all of that under the guise of marriage I don't know if it's arranged marriage or love marriage but I want to meet someone whether it's gonna be on social media whether I'm gonna bump into them on the train whether I'm gonna meet them through a friend or even through my parents but I want to be able to have so like deep conversations with them and talk about marriage from the get-go like talk about the fact that we're only talking because we're interested in getting married to, to each other and we're only talking because we want to get to know each other a little bit more to make sure that we are certain that we want to get married to each other and then as soon as we feel like we're compatible then we can get engaged and then be straightforward with things and go straight into the ting do you get me so, so yeah i think that's pretty much all for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i might have been a bit mellow in this video because i'm a bit in a chilled mood so please excuse that but um it was really nice speaking to you guys and i hope you learned something new today and i will see you guys in my next video bye